today some very interesting video because Diwali is coming soon so I'm going to share with you today some stocks which can I believe give some very good returns from Diwali to Diwali that is if you buy at this Diwali by next Diwali I believe you know these stocks will turn out to be multi baggers so which are these companies and why do I think that they can perform so well let's look at the detailed analysis of these companies so let's start and let's look at the first company the first stock so if you look at the returns of this stock it is up around 67 percent the last one year this stock has given around 58 percent year to date it's up around 38 percent in six months 10 percent in one month it has a very good dividend yield of around 4.47 percent which is very you know good now the name of this company is Maynon Bearings Limited so this is the first stock that I want to share with you and I believe it this stock you know can perform very well in the next one year and it can perform very nicely and give some good returns so let's do the analysis of this stock now if you look at the price this stock is currently trading at around 77 rupees the market capital is also very low just 438 crore the fit to week high price is 88.4 low is 44.5 the stock's p is 17.8 and roc is 22.4 percent the intrinsic value is around 71.4 rupees for this stock so menon bearings is engaged in the business of bearings bushes and thrust washers aluminium die casting components having applications in heavy and light commercial vehicles tractors construction equipment material handling stationery diesel gasoline and cng engines mbl started its operations way back in 1994 and since then it has achieved various milestones the company is one of the leading manufacturers of highly critical moving engine components and mbl's major revenues are contributed by well-known oems having global presence like John Deere, Tata's, Mahindra's, Honeywell, Ace Tractors, Cooper Corp, etc. are few of its well-known clients. However, there is not a single client who contributes more than 10 to 12 percent to the total revenue, thereby de-risking client concentration. And its 49 percent revenues is from OEMs. 37 percent of revenue accounts for export, with balance 14 percent revenue coming from replacement market, electrical business, and others. By 22, MBL has planned to expand its existing biometal capacity to 5 million PCs uh, per month from the existing 3 million pieces per month at capacity of around 5 to 6 crore. Further, the company has a healthy order book pipeline for biometal parts and aluminium castings orders from domestic and international customers. MBL exports almost 30% of its production to countries like USA, Mexico, UK, Netherlands, Austria, UAE, Africa, Japan, etc. MBL has at its credit to be one of the very you know few players who is equipped with manufacturing facilities for producing lead free material and parts which are compliant with BS4 6 and Euro 6 engine norms the brand Menon bearings has a strong presence in the replacement market through its presence in 10000 plus retail outlets across india and strong network of 1000 dealers plus distributors its aftermarket sales network is connecting and serving 30,000 plus mechanics and reborders and Menon Bearings Limited MBL is a four decades old company on the back of strengthening of the rural economy and two nearly normal seasons of monsoon the demand for tractors has also come back on track and I believe rural economy is expected to remain strong which is expected to keep the tractor demand on the growth trajectory and Menon Bearings is a diversified auto ancillary making engine bearings for the CVs, tractors and high pressure aluminium die castings for non-auto clients the company earlier had only bearings business which it diversified by moving in the high pressure die casting business and export and in the bearings business company has customers like Tata Motors, Cummins, John Deere, Grease Cotton, m and Federal Mogul while in the die casting business its customers are Honeywell, Gabriel, Royal Enfield, Mahindra and Mahindra, Tata Motors and the company has seen strong traction in the die casting business which now contributes about 30% of the business. The export business has been doing well due to the strong order book from its overseas clients contributing 35% of the total revenue. The customer concentration risk remains low for the company as no single OEM contributes more than 7 to 8% of the revenue. Considering that CVs follow a particular business cycle, MBL is less dependent on a single OEM for revenue generation. So now let's look at the chart of this stock currently trading near 77. So when should you buy at what price can one buy and what can be the target for this stock? So the stock is currently trading at just you know 77 rupees yesterday there was a good rally in the stock. I think the best price to enter is uh, near this support area that is around 
72 rupees and i think stock can achieve very good targets in the next one year it can i believe double from here and uh, you know give double returns that is 100 percent returns in the next one year so you can keep the stock in your order and currently is trading i know above all the important moving average rsa also looking good stock has good support at 70 level so that can be a area where you know one can accumulate this uh, company and if you have a view of let's say one year or diwali to diwali multi bagger i think this is a stock which in which you can you know do your analysis this is the first stock i have another stock for you which i believe can also give some very good returns in the coming future so let's look at that stock now the second stock, uh, if you look at the returns, it has generated 661% of returns in the last one year. Year till date, it is up around 300%. The stock has given 12% returns in the last one week and today it was up around 11% because the stock gave very good re uh, results. Now if you look at the dividend yield, uh, that is around 0.26% and this company incorporated in 1960s involved in the design and manufacturing of material handling equipment and industrial gears and also providing construction and commissioning solutions for its products uh, in 2010 it also ventured into the manufacturing of custom made gearboxes for steel mills high speed turbines satellites for isro and also for the naval aircraft carriers through the acquisition of bensler's radicon group belonging to the david brown gear systems it is the market leader in industrial gears with a pickup in industrial activity in steel cement paper sugar etc sectors the prospects for the company's bright in the near future it has been consistently reducing debt and taking other cost cutting measures which has resulted in a jump in margins which looks to be sustainable in the near term. The firm started its life as a two product company elevators and conveyors. Today it is one of the largest manufacturers of industrial gears in the world. Industrial gears are used in cement, steel, sugar, paper, power, fertilizer, coal generation, chemical, textile, rubber, paper pharma, port, mechanization, minerals and metals processing sectors. This group was founded in the year 1951 and the company manufactured conveyor systems under a trading company with a focus on engineering, procurement and construction projects in India and in 1976 the company established an independent gear division specializing in power transmission equipment. With an expertise of over six decades, the company has successfully established its position as Asia's largest gear manufacturing company directed by its global presence in Asia, US, UK and Europe. It was the pioneer to introduce the modular design concept and case hardened ground gear technologies in the country. The company has a proven track record in designing and manufacturing of warm gears, parallel shaft, right angle shaft, helical and spiral level helicast gears, fluid gears and flexible couplings as well as the planetary gearboxes. The company has orders worth around 565 crores booked in gear business. This translates to an order backlog of 373 crores for execution. The capacity utilization for the gear facility is 50 to 55 percent, so an increase in orders executed can result in significant operating leverage. And in the gears business, the company has a Navy ship order consisting of seven ships with five to be delivered soon, and the remainder to be delivered by March 22. The company is cleaning up the balance sheet with continuous reduction of debt and delivering of the materials project will help them to reduce receivables by 200 crores and this should also lead to better financing costs for the company. And with a growth in net sales of 14.69% that firm declared very positive result in the June quarter. Multiple factors for the stock are bullish like MACD, Berlin Japan, KST and Dow and the company has declared positive result for the last four consecutive quarters. So the name of this stock, name of this company is Elcon Engineering Company Limited. So this is the second stock in which I am bullish on and I believe this stock you know, can perform very well in the next one year and I think this stock can be a multi-bagger. It can be Diwali to Diwali multi-bagger. So if you look at the stock, it is currently trading near 170 today it had a very good rally because the results were very good i think the current price is also attractive suppose if there is correction 150 would be the best price to enter but the current price is also very good you can you know buy some quantity at current price and then wait for corrections and buy the 150 rest of the quantity and i believe if you hold for next one year i think this stock will you know perform very well and generate some very good returns for you so this is the second stock which i wanted to share with you in which i am bullish on i hope you liked my analysis see you again soon with another stock analysis video till then Goodbye, take care, happy trading, happy investing.